bloggers pow Right, let's have a look at some sideways scrolling shoot 'em ups on the Game Boy Advance. Right, so first off we have Darius R, which is based on the first Darius game. So let's get this started. Right, no messing, straight into the game. Now, Darius was originally originally in the arcades a three screen arcade epic. Three monitors pretty much held together with sticky back plastic and gave you a, a huge wide play screen. Um, obviously you're not going to be able to replicate that on a GBA but the GBA did have, oh for fuck's sake really, uh, did have a fairly wide screen anyway so you know fair enough now this does draw comparisons with the uh, PC Engine version and I suppose possibly not that I've played it yet the uh, the newly released Mega Drive version from the uh, mini Mega Drive console And hey, you know, it's not a bad version of Darius. Um, it's a little bit unforgiving. I had a couple of practice goes on this, and it's got no continues. It really does kill you off <laughs> if you're not careful. So hopefully this time around we're at least going to see something like the, uh, at least one of the bosses, if not a, a second stage. But yeah, it's pretty merciless. Um, Darius has always been one of my well, fondly remembered horizontally scoring shooters it is by no stretch of the imagination you know a classic I'm sure some people really do like it I mean it's good don't get me wrong it was always seemed a little bit flawed at least the first game oh bollocks it's like the widescreen gimmick was uh, probably uh, more of a gimmick than anything else Mind you, having said that, Darius 2, aka Sagaya, I really did like. Uh, that was excellent. Um, you can play a really good version of that on the Saturn. Um, but hey, yeah, this isn't bad. It's just very, very unforgiving. Okay, so how far have we got left to go before the first boss? Not really, not even going to try and get that power up. Oh shit, maybe I should have done. Oh, first boss, here we go. A huge battleship. King Fossil is approaching fast. Ah, oh, that's not always a cool thing about Darius games, is the uh, huge battleship. Now, interesting thing here. So, so far it's been based on um, the original Darius music stage layout. For some reason, this is the boss music from um, G Darius on the PlayStation, which is unusual. That's a bit strange that they went with that rather than the actual. Uh, more um, chilled boss music from the original game. Okay, fair enough. We'll we'll roll with that. Bit of an oddity. Come on, King Fossil. Pop your clogs. I know this is really, really taking its time, but it's the easiest way to deal with it. I'm a complete spanner when it comes to dodging a spray of bullets like that. Oh, there we go. Right time to choose your next stage. There we 
go, rushing to zone B. Oh, it doesn't play the whole of that jingle. It just repeats the first bit. Come on, a bit. Weak. Oh well. I'll be on my guard. Again! This is music from, um... Darius Gaiden! Rather from, rather than from the original. I'm not sure if this is a stage from Darius Gaiden. I don't recognise it as such. Oh, bollocks. Okay, so that's one thing that is a, apparent, is that the, um... Because the screen scrolls up and down slightly, you don't know what you're getting yourself into when you scroll downwards. That's a bit of a problem gameplay-wise. And I think you can get pretty close to the your viewable area of the screen before it. Um, Scrolls, so you don't know what you're scrolling into sometimes. Ooh, the shield. Hey, look, there's a shield. Oh, really? Fucking hell. I don't think I'm going to be long for this world. Oh, especially when all this shit starts coming from behind. That's a bit unfair. Yeah, so not a bad version of Darius. I mean, there's better Darius games to be played. Um, this GBA one is okay, but it does have a few flaws, which I'm not enjoying. And it's already game over, so let's move along to the next game. Okay, so the next game is R-Type 3, a conversion of the SNES Classic. Well, that looks pretty good so far. So you've got your pod select. So gonna go with a classic R-Type Force. Oh, that's a bit sad. It's missing the um, little animated bit at the beginning with the uh, zooming into the ship. Well, the ship zooming out, I can't remember which it was, but essentially it's, it was missing. So this looks the part. It looks like I'll type 3, and... Uh, sounds a bit disappointing. Sounds like this, this version gone wrong. I mean, I must say, I'm playing this on, on an emulator for obvious screen capture reasons. It doesn't sound right to me. I'm have to crack up my GBA version a bit later and look. Because that's the weird irony, I do have originals of all the games I'm playing on this episode. I just can't record them. Oh, that's right, he crashes into the scenery in a second. Let me shoot him. Well, off you go. There we go, brilliant. Yeah, it's, it's on the surface a pretty uh, decent conversion. The frame rate is a bit choppy, but then again, that could be down to emulation. I really can't remember. I didn't play this a great deal on the GBA, despite owning it. I do remember the collision detection being off on this somewhat. Um, or at least the, the hitbox on the ship being a bit too big, but... Yeah, the music and sound effects are no near as good as the Super Nintendo version. You know, the first level of this is actually quite boring. Thank you. 
Yeah, not much happens on the first level in this, does it? I think what we'll do is we'll skip on a bit here to a bit that's a bit more exciting. Yes, there has been some deaths, and you can see from that bit there, the collision detection is off. I did remember correctly. So I was nowhere near that turret. And I do now remember I started to get pretty annoyed with this back in the day because of that. It's uh, a shame, really, because graphically, this is very, very close to the Super Nintendo version. But then you've got shit like that which happens. See, there we go. You can't get down there and get behind that low enough of those turrets to destroy them. So yeah, R-Type 3 is pretty good, but it, uh, the collision detection ruins it. So let's move along then. So next up, we have Steel Empire. Or, uh, or aka Empire of Steel depending on which version you had on the Mega Drive so let's get started on this so, a little bit of story there that's always nice isn't it let's skip that so you can go for speed or power let's go for power now this is a really, really surprising release for the Game Boy Advance. A very good Mega Drive game, but not exactly the best known one. Strangely enough, we've got this release on the GBA. And this is a lovely little conversion of that game. It's not too cramped, uh, it's not small so you can't see what's going on. Uh, again, this, ga this is a game I have an original of as well. And it is a lovely little version of this game. Not quite as good as the Mega Drive version, if I'm to be honest. But hey. You want to play some Steel Empire on the move? This is just the way to do it. I haven't played all the way through this version, mind. I've finished the Mega Drive version, so I'm not sure if all the stages are here on this. But hey, it's a, it's it's a really cute small version of Steel Empire. There's lots of lovely little details in these graphics, aren't there? to a boss soon I'd imagine. There we go. Let's use the special. Yeah, I think if you find yourself a copy of this, um, you will not be disappointed. It's a lovely little game. Oh crap, it's all going a bit long for me though. Oh, oh. Go defeated that. I don't think that was the first level boss actually, I think it was just a mid level thing, so things are probably going to go tits up from here onwards. Graphics on this are very, very um, obviously they're very steampunk style. They always reminded me of um, that Miyazaki movie, uh, Laputa Castle in the Sky. And if you're a fan of that, you'll know exactly what I mean by this: the airships and the uh, flying machines. Mm. 
yeah, we really need another game. I haven't got anything interesting to say about it because it's so nice. Not much longer than the last time. My job got more lives as well, so I won't bore you much longer with this. We'll get to the actual proper end of the level, see what the boss is like, and then we'll move along. Be the proper boss. Here it is. And it's a train! Let's use a smart bomb on the train. In fact, I'm probably just blowing up. Whoa, shit! Oops. Blowing up one carriage of the train, but it's things. Let's waste some more bombs. Trains appear to be carrying a lot of heavy weaponry. Oh, here's the last bomb. Oh. Usually you can fire backwards and uh, side arms. And we've beaten it. We have. So, yes, Steel Empire on the GBA is a bit of a triumph. I'm making a note here. Huge success. So, here we have Radius Galaxies, or Greatest Advance, depending on where you live. Starts off with a nice little history lesson here the previous Gradius games. Happy memory, it's been a very low res. Oh, it includes Gradius Gaiden as well. Oh, and Gradius 4. Hmm. Not Gradius 5, because that was a couple of years after this. Okay. Let's start. No, oh, choose weapon type. Ooh. I'm going to go for the uh, Salamander S Ripple Laser and Two Way option with a force field. Manual power up, of course. K? 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 Oh god, very, very slow movement with that speed up. Speed up stat. That's bad. Now, when this was announced, being the big greatest fan as I am, I couldn't wait. I have a new greatest game. It was an amazing thing to behold. I need to speed up, right? Oh, that's bad. Right. That's not like it. Nice, it's got a speech as well. The announce the power ups. Double your missile power as well, which is always nice. There's always something with some versions and conversions of Grady, you could only have a couple of options. In this version you could only have two. PC Engine version I think you could have four, maybe it was three, I'm not sure. Commodore 64 version you could only have two. I haven't played Spectrum version enough to know. But uh, 
Oh, a little bit of uh, rotation, sprite scaling there. Whatever the uh, Game Boy's version of Mode 7 is. Asteroid. Well, we've come for a boss now. Laser. Laser. That's the thing that we've got. Being blown off as it's on. Well, I think it regains them. Yes, it does. There we go. Cause it's gone red already. Shouldn't take much longer for it to cark it. There we go. of options. Yeah this is a really really good Gradius game. It's, uh, it's an original one specifically for the Game Boy Advance. Obviously it borrows a lot from previous Gradius games but that's what you'd expect. Crystal blocks level. Yeah, this for my money is one of the best shooters on the GBA. So if you can find yourself a copy of this, it's going to be worth picking up, I'd say. And the music really captures that old school greatest feel as well, which is really good. It, it sounds a bit like a NES game, but in a good way. Boss soon.
Well done. Multiple cores, multiple weapon generators there. Oh shit! Bloody hell. Okay. This is gonna be fun now. Of course, one of those things that the Gradius games are always very guilty of is the. Uh, losing all your uh, power. Ah shit. Okay, right, time to test something. Mm -hmm. Down, down. LR, LR. Missile, missile. No. Okay, one more try. Up, up, down, down. Left, right, left, right. B, A, start. No. Does A B start? No. Laser. Laser. I haven't managed to go in the game have a laser somehow, but. Seems to be quite a tough boss this, it's I'm not making much uh, inroads into it, am I? I wonder if this will work. Shouldn't do. Very cheeky of me, but you know. No, it didn't. <laughs> Worth a go, though, wasn't it? But yeah, uh, Greatest Galaxies is excellent and definitely worth playing. So, there were some shoot em ups from the Game Boy Advance. What do you think of them? What ones would you recommend? Comment below. Yeah, subscribe or naff off.